Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I was asked a few days ago if I could provide a demonstration how to connect shifter.io to Datacake. And in this video, I'm going to show you how this works. So shifter.io is basically an MQTT server that you can deploy several instances, different pricing models, and then connect your IoT devices, um, cloud services, and then also your end platforms like Datacake. So first of all, let's sign in because I've already registered. Registration is free. And here we sign in and then you can deploy your first instances which will run the shifter.io MQTT server. Um, you can choose from various things. We are going to deploy a basic and a free um, instance with 100 active connections. That means in both directions, I think. Um, so up to like 80 devices and then uh, 20 additional con uh, connections for reading out the data. Um, there are a couple of settings like names and um, billing account and so on. Yes, we want to deploy that instance. And I think this is a demonstration instance I've been using before. Let's reload. There's the second one here. So let's open this up. And in here we can see first of all, yeah, I need to sign in again, a low request. And now I've got access to the platform from shifter.io. I want to get started. I can do some settings in here. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a token to access um, or to um, yeah, authenticate our devices and also data cake to shifter.io. Let's create a new token. We leave everything like it is. Um, I'm going to delete it afterwards, so you, it's okay that you see the token. Create the token. This is uh, somehow the MQTT server imported, so on. And now let's go ahead and create an integration on DataKick. I've already created a shifter demo workspace. Um, to integrate the MQTT server, we need to create a new device. Plus press on the blue button here, API, next. Existing product, no, new product, call this shifter demo product. Thank you for that suggestion. Next, we leave everything here like it is. The name will be uh, shifter demo device 01, and we call this device zero number one. Okay, let's leave it like that one. No, it's already in use. Then we um, just simply select that one. Free plan, and yes, I want to add a new device. And now I can go into the configuration by clicking on the device, going into configuration, scroll down until I reach the MQTT configuration. And in here, um, we need to hook up the um, shifter instance. So we're going to add a new MQTT server, click on that button in here, and then we can provide um, all of these settings. So of course, we want to use secured connection. Uh, the port for this is 8883, default port. And the server is somewhere in here. Yeah, that's the crazy fly 954, uh, super cool name. And we paste it in here. And also, yes, we want CA signed, I guess. And now username and password. So the token, I've already copied it. I can paste it in here, but I also need the username. And I think the username is always crazyfly954. Okay, let's copy that one here, username. We can test the connection by clicking on test. Okay, it says the connection is successful. I'm not sure if I maybe can also see it in here. No, not yet. Um, but let's add this MQTT server. Uh, no, I don't want to save that. And we have successfully hooked up the MQTT server to DataKick. Um, you can also see the connection in the, the um, integrations under external MQTT service. And we can see in the logs, okay, it has been connected. Now let's go back to devices, into shifter demo, into configuration and scroll down a little bit. So this is an MQTT server. That means we can exchange data by topics. And for this purpose, I've created um, a small Python code that simulates sensor data for temperature, battery signal, um, level and location. And we want to connect that one here now using MQTT to DataCake and to the shifter um, broker. So first of all, of course, we also need to enter the details here um, for username and of course also the token. Yep. And then I want to provide the, yeah, the server address. Okay. 
Um, what we will do now is um, there's like a device a topic prefix and a serial number prefix. We call this, for example, shifter uh, device or shifter minus. And I'm going to just simulate to see what happens. And this is connecting to the shifter broker and it's sending the data. That means we should see this now also on shifter already. Yeah, we can see it in here. So now, I mean, this is pretty cool. You can see the whole map of devices and drag and drop them around. So if you have a huge deployment on Shifter, you can see like all of your devices in here. And there's the log of the latest uh, messages coming in. Let's go back to um, the Shifter demo device on Datacake because we now want to hook up these devices here also to Datacake. That means um, we already added one device in here, which will add as the preset of template. And we now need to add an MQTT configuration. We already add the server, but also the uplink decoder. We click on um, add new uplink decoder, subscribe to topics. And in here, I'm going to copy that topic in here and back in here. And as you can see, we are providing the device serial in the topic structure of the device. Um, but the payload decoder for this MQDT topic is on the product. That means we need some routing. So we do a wildcard in here. So we subscribe to all devices, basically. And then in the decoder, um, we are going to extract the serial number from the um, payload or from the topic. We are doing this by writing serial is topic. And then we split the topic um, by this dash and then we um i think we need to address the uh, latest or the last element of it which is the serial number and then we need to return the actual data and um this returning happens also that we address the device in here so it's serial and the field for example is temperature and the payload is payload dot let me once have a look dot temperature. Okay, yeah, temperature. Um, we can also simulate this. Now I could, for example, copy this uh, topic in here and then also copy the temperature or the payload. And yeah, um, like that, try decoder function. Okay, it says the temperature field is not added. And also there's a problem because it just doesn't, recognize my dot pattern that means that we also need to convert the payload to json so we are going to parse this payload and now let's try this function again and it says okay this is now 20 degrees now you can also see that there is like a mark which is like okay there's a field but it's red that means that this field hasn't been created on our device template yet we can click on uh, add, them, add field here, and then we can mark this as float, temperature, yes, and the role, I want this to be primary because it's important, add the field, and if I now try the decoder function again, it says device not found because the serial number is not registered, but that's uh, expected behavior. Um, we are also sending a couple of different things in here, so it's not just the temperature, um, we are also sending the battery signal level and the location, so let's go ahead and add, um, yeah, another return in the dictionary, um, a couple of returns. So for example, battery, and I also want location and uh, the field is location and in here the field is battery. And let's um, add this uplink decoder. Yes, I want to add this. Um, it's now added here to um, our MQTT configuration. And now let's change the serial number to shifter minus one, because that is exactly the device we are having here. Okay, and let's go into the fields once more. Um, as you can see here, there's just the temperature. And now I'm going to um, run um, the simulation once more. Yeah, it's sending all the data. And now you can see, okay, um, the temperature has been recorded. And if I reload now, it also tells me that um, there are a couple of fields which are not yet on the database. So these are suggested fields. And yes, I want to have them as well, which is in here, the battery. The battery could be integer and the field role or the device uh, role is field role is device battery save 
And also there's a location field, which is not string. It is geolocation. And the role, of course, also is device location at this. And if I now run this once more for all of these 10 devices, we can see um, that if I reload once more, um, we are having this information also in here in device location and device battery and so on. So this means I'm now going to uh, show the device list. There is um, one of these devices, primary, secondary, device location, device signal. I can see them. And on the grid view, I can see this device as well. As well. And then I'm going on the dashboard, just pretty quickly creating a couple of things like the value widget. Um, temperature, yep. I'm not going to make any graphical adjustments in here. Battery, yes. And I also want um, a map, add field, location, yes. And I want to show this as well. And maybe also different zoom level, um, appearance. And I think there's like manual start location with a zoom level of four, for example. Now let's do eight. Save this, go to mobile, create from desktop. Yep. And now if I go back to the device list and on the grid, I can see the sidebar dashboard in here. And on the map, I can see also this position from that device. But now let's go ahead because in the Visual Studio Python script, I'm sending data for 10 devices. And let's go into the list and create the missing nine devices. We go to add device, we select API next, and then we select existing product because we already added the product. And now I'm going to add a couple of devices in here. And they are all linked to the shifter one. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last but not least, number 10. And um, we call them shifter demo device number zero two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. We do have an API for that, so you can run scripts to mass generate devices on data cake to the product. Yeah, I'm going to add nine devices now. They are now all in the workspace. You can see that only one of them has data. So now we haven't done anything to change in here. All the dashboards are the same because they all belong to the same product, as you can see in here. That means that the payload decoder and everything else is already set for that product. So let's go into Visual Studio Code and run this simulation script once more. And now if I reload, I can see that all of these devices have data and also their position set. So that means if I go on map, I can see the various devices around Germany here because that was the simulated location that I was picking. And all of them have like this dashboard and all of them are enabled. And if I go to the um, shifter.io, I can see this is my subscription uh, on the um, MQTT integration and data cake. I can see this is the broker from Shifter and these are all the devices belonging to it. Yeah, so this is how the integration from shifter.io works on the data cake platform. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free. There's like uh, to ask, of course, there's like an MQTT integration documentation on our documentary, you find it here in this link. Um, if there's anything else you need to know, feel free to ask us. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.